<laughs> video reaction. Hit the subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit it now. All right, we good. We good. Dap it up. <laughs> Let's get into it, you guys. So, I wake up yesterday. Get the crust out my eyes. Turn around. Do what most of average Americans do. Hop on Twitter first. I get on Twitter. Zoe Tada. Zoe Tada. Nia Simone. How could they do this? Zoe Tada. Why she look like this? Why she look like? Why she look like she from Avatar? Da 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 J Entertainment. Hmm. No! Why is her face? Like they really painted her black. I mean, she's black. She's Dominican, so she's partially black. But, whoa, like, no, no, who said this was okay? Who gave the okay for this? I, there was no way her daughter gave the okay for this. If her daughter gave the okay for this, she must not know her mama then. Because, I mean, let me give you a little bit of the backstory of Nina Simone. Okay, so I watched the Netflix documentary of Nina Simone, and Nina Simone was a very... She is a very influential yet dealing with things that I don't okay. How do I explain this? She was an influential person in the music and in black history, but she was also dealing with her skin color and that she didn't look you know, that she looked di different and you know, that she was of unique you know, unique things, I would say. She she just, not unique things. Ah, how would I put this? Um, she was, like I said, she was into, influential to the, uh, black history and to, you know, music. But she also had things that she was dealing, dealing within herself. She had things that she was dealing within herself as to her features and her skin color and the racism that was going on back then, which is still going on today. I'll talk about that in another video. But she was dealing with all these things and it was compiling, compiling, compiling. And you know how things compile, compile, compile. And she eventually broke. She had a nervous breakdown and, you know... I guess they're showing in the beginning of this trailer about how she had a nervous breakdown. I hope for the life of me that this movie doesn't be around that she had a nervous breakdown and that she had mental issues. I really hope that this movie is not based around that. Yes, that is a part of her life, but I hope the, the movie is not based around her and her mental issues. They really, like, made her extra, like, is she not even extra dark? Like, this not, like, Zoe Zidane looks so odd with this color. Like, it's not, she doesn't even look odd with the color. It's just the paint. Like, they, like, it's like they took the water color paint, you know, the little crap that you used to get in kindergarten, and painted her with it. Like, this looks mad bad. Like, this looks like, ugh. You know, like, yeah, my mother used to listen to you. Uh, she looked like a like a fake ass Barbie doll, like a Barbie doll that's been melted. Like this don't even look right. Ask your mom. When you get some champagne and bring it upstairs. Brought you some food and your vacation. I can't. I want double double go through with this. Out of shape. Want to go to the gym? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she 
laugh like that. Yo, I didn't mean to laugh at the way she. <laughs> Yo, no. get away with murder was she busy that day or that month you know what I'm saying we could have got a, a plethora of other actresses not to mention alone that they're not even in the same weight or the same age range like it all looks awkward on Zoe Saldana like this looks it just looks really fake and bad it just looks really fake and bad and awkward like really care for Zoe Sanana because I just don't really care for her like that like she's cool but like I'm the you know I ain't no stand for her but I just don't yeah this is bad I won't be seeing this in the theater nope you can watch the Netflix one I prefer that you watch Netflix because I I sat and watched the Netflix documentary and that's all I need to got I mean it was really it was really good it was a one a one with the Netflix doc documentary whoever did that documentary she had teamed up with the person that was about to do this biopic RLJ entertainment and y'all should have came together on something I give this one thumb two thumbs down um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want me to keep doing these uh, reaction videos. Hit that thumbs up button. Bye!